A team of forensic researchers are helping Jackson County deputies solve a 50-year-old mystery. They're looking at what happened to the three people inside a burning cabin on the outskirts of Brownstown. And also, why were only two sets of remains found? As Fox 59 Trust McQuaid shows us, three families are now depending on modern science for these results. A big mystery has hung over the little town of Brownstown since the Christmas season of 1971. The newspapers of central Indiana were full of stories about a fatal cabin fire on the morning of December 18th of that year. Stanley Robison, Jerry Autry, and Mike Sewell were in a cabin that burned down. The coroner could only identify the remains of Robison and Autry. Nobody knows what became of Mike Sewell. To this day, we still don't know how the fire started. There are a lot of rumors out there. Um, I've always felt that there's somebody that knows something. Last week, Jackson County Sheriff's Lieutenant Adam Nicholson had the bodies of Autry and Robison exhumed and the remains sent to the University of Indianapolis for a forensic pathologist to examine. And if she comes up with, uh, you know, three right ankles, then she'll know that there was three people, or if she comes up with three left femurs, then she'll know that there was three people. Or if there's only two, then, you know, then we're back to square one. I'm really hoping they find the remains of three people because um, the Sewells deserve, they, they've had it rough. Speculation about Mike Sewell's whereabouts or potential role in the fires still swirl around Brownstown. People can be so cruel, and the things that they said when it all happened was horrible and they pretty much ran us out of town. Anybody that knew him knows that he couldn't just set that fire and take off as close as he was to those boys. Detectives don't have a timetable on when to expect an answer. In Brownstown, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.